or back in 2003 where LeBron was drafted, but instead of being a young superstar in the making, he's a zero overall. Literally can't even dunk the basketball. I probably run faster than him, and good luck making a jump shot. At the beginning of the season, I'm gonna simulate the first game. The amount of points, rebounds, and assists combined he gets in that game will result in the upgrade points I'm allowed to spend on him, increasing any one of these ratings out of the lowest possible. And if his team wins the game, we'll spend from the upgrade wheel that gives him a lot of big upgrades really fast. After we sim that game, we'll sim all the way to the end of the season. The combination of his average points, rebounds, assists, and the amount of games his team won that year will also be upgrade points. And any playoff series win will give me one free spin of the upgrade wheel. We have two goals for this video. The first goal is to completely max out LeBron's overall, which is 99, but more or less 100. And the second goal is at any point in this video to win a championship with LeBron. Let's see how long this takes. Also, shout out Denver Shuck. This video is inspired by his MJ upgrade play. You under the title's there. You see it. But I'll put a link to his channel in the description. We got to play the Celtics in our first game of the season. They're getting blown out. Let's see if we get any LeBron gameplay. Or is LeBron just going to sit in the corner here while Davis drives it a bat? Oh, okay. That was an interesting pass. All right. They're not passing LeBron the ball, so I'm going to get an upgrade myself. Give me the screen. I mean, he's already super tired and just slow at the same time. Oh, that was tough. Nice 25 layup. And LeBron ended this game with six points, zero rebounds, and one assist. I think the right thing to do here is to raise his potential, man. We got to get that up quick. And now let's take a spin of the upgrade. We're going to go ahead and get max three-point shot. Wow. He never even got this in real life, but now we're up to a 48 overall. Let's sim to the end of the season. Well, we got KG winning MVP, which I think actually happened in real life or was the year before. And if you were expecting LeBron on an NBA team, you're out of your mind. We got ourselves 25 upgrade points so far, but we're the worst team in the league. And LeBron averaged 5 points and 1.5 assists. We'll be rounding up here. So 25 from the regular season, 7 here from the stats. We're going to go ahead and get 32 upgrade points. And again, not going to waste time here. There's no reason to not put all this on potential. And the Grizzlies win the championship. Paul Gasol finals MVP. I am so confused how LeBron James is not on this team right now. It looks like Portland picked him up on a two-way contract. This team drafted Dwight Howard. Wow, LeBron and Dwight can be crazy. And their first game of the season is against the Spurs. That's a tough matchup. Well, I guess this game's kind of close. LeBron with the ball. He pulls the three. He does have a 993 ball. Oh, you got to make that, LeBron. This man, LeBron, had three points and one, <laughs> one assist. I'm getting four upgrade points. I was going to put it towards stamina because he's tired as hell out there in these hopping games, but I think I'm just going to give him the potential. Eh? Just four points is not going to do anything. But now we get our spin from the upgrade wheel. It's going to go ahead and be plus 10 to all finishing attributes. That's nice. So anything that involves finishing the basketball will go up 10 spots. Oh my God, they put him down to the G League. Just going to have to keep simming. That's unfortunate. All right, Shaq got himself an MVP. And LeBron for the second year in a row is on the worst team in the league. He had nearly identical stats to last year, averaging five points and two assists. So that's going to be 33 upgrade points. Well, I might as well max out his potential here, so get down to 99. And then for the last 19, I'll put it on the stamina. He needs to be able to play in these games longer. And the Wolves win the championship. KG already winning a championship. And LeBron is still on this team, going up five overalls to a 56. I also noticed this team has Chris Paul now. So LeBron, Chris Paul, and Dwight. Right before I started the first game, they put him in the G League. So he's not going to have any stats. He just needs to hope his team wins the game for the the upgrade wheel. We need this win bad. Chris Paul diving into Dwight. Dw I mean, that, that's a crazy combo. Chris Paul and Dwight is insane. Chris Paul driving, get it to Dwight. Dwight going up, gets fouled. All right. I mean, I don't know how good that actually is. Dwight with the first one. Oh, man. Yeah, that's come on. Can you just make one free throw? Thank you. Battier contested three. Hell no. Rebound Zebo. And as you can see, LeBron's not even on the box score. But we're getting a spin of the upgrade wheel. We need something good here. What do we got? Max standing dunk. All right. We'll take it. This feels like a cheesy ass 2K build. Max standing dunk, max three. Let's hope he gets out the G League. KG getting another MVP. And Portland somehow the third. Oh, I guess they have Chris Paul on the way. I don't know why I said somehow. All right, you know, that actually makes sense. That's a lot of upgrade points for LeBron because he definitely wasn't doing it on the court. That man never got out the G League. But I guess we got 49 points to spend. I don't know what I'm going to do. I still think stamina is the next more important thing. So I'm just going to max out stamina or at least get it up to like a 90. I put it up to 95, so I got six points left. I guess I'll put it in rebounding. I like to see him get one or two rebounds a game on the season. That'd be nice. Oh, you know what's funny? I, I didn't even think to sim the plus because I because LeBron's in the G League still, but I accidentally sim through the round. But they won a series, so he's getting a spin at the wheel here, so he's getting plus 10 to all playmaking attributes. Yeah, I don't know where my mind went on that. My bad. And now he's a 58 overall. And the Kings win the championship. Chris Webber getting one. He's still there and now up to a 60 overall. Can he stop getting two-way contracts, though? Can we do something about that? Let's hope they don't call him down to the G League as soon as I press simulate. Well, I simulated one day and he got called down to the G League. Why are you calling down Cal Bow? Call down this guy. So we're going to be doing an inside job here to help LeBron. Well, we got a chance. T-Mac driving. Yeah, he's 2K cheese. We all know this. Chuck one up. My that might go in. Oh, I thought that was it. Well, we're in real trouble now. <laughs> we're not getting any upgrades. We just have to hope Portland's good at basketball this year or you get the call up. All right, KG, relax. And if you were wondering, LeBron did not make it back from the G League, but we are the first seed. And that's 54 upgrade points. I think I'm going to just go out with the intangibles and boost it up to 79. Now he's up to a 64 overall. And we're in the first round versus the Super Sons. We just got to win one or two playoff series to really get him some upgrades. And we're going to blow him out here in game seven. So we're getting one upgrade wheel so far. Dwight with 30 and 12. Chris Paul with 27 and 15. Thank you for showing up because LeBron. 
LeBron literally can't. We got to play the Clippers. And we're going to blow him out here in game six. So that's going to be two upgrade wheel spins. And I feel like we're better than the Suns team. Let's see what happens. And apparently I don't know ball because that's going to be a sweep. But we got two spins. Here's our first one. It's going to go ahead and be max mid range. That's nice. So LeBron's now the best shooter in the NBA without actually being in the NBA. And here's our second wheel spin. It's going to go ahead and be max pass perception. Very specific, but okay. I guess we'll take it. And now we're up to a 70 overall. All right, that wasn't bad. And the Suns win the championship. Sean Marion finals MVP. LeBron's still on that stupid two-way contract, but at least now he's a 72 overall. That should be enough for him to stop getting call downs. And I guess we can look at his stats here. Yeah, a lot of stuff's going up here. That's all with the potential raise. And he's got a couple badges too. He has a total of 14. Look at the shooting badges though. He's been going crazy with the badges. I can't even simulate one day because the first game is on the first day of the season. So for the time being, LeBron's gonna play. And this Clipper team's pretty good. Let's get the win. This game's somewhat close, but I just want to see LeBron content. LeBron's not even in the game. And they got a mismatch there in the post. Yeah, you should go to work there with a little po Okay, pump fake. Just just go up. Go up. Just go up. There you go. All right, that's game. LeBron had 12 points, three rebounds, and three assists. Not bad at all. It's going to be 18 upgrade points. So I'm going to get his intangibles up to 97. Yeah, that feels right. And then we're going to spin the wheel here. We're going to go ahead and get max passing IQ. Okay. That put him up to a 74 overall. I simulated one day, and he already got called down. This man, KG, owns this award. And the Blazers won 66 games. I don't know if this is cheating, but obviously he averaged 12, 3, and 3 because he only played one game. We'll just call that a loophole. 66 plus 18 equals 84. So that's how many upgrade points we're going to get. I'm going to max the intangibles, leaving us with 82. And then I'm going to give him 41 speed and 41 excel on both sides. It just makes sense to get his athleticism up. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, this would have been a great matchup. LeBron versus Melo. We're going to take him down here in six games. Dwight with 34 and 16. My God. Now we got the second round versus that tough Clippers team. We're going to get rid of them here in six games. Chris Paul now taking the reins with 34 and 14. Let's see if we can get LeBron three upgrade wheel spins. And that's going to be a gentleman's sweep. So we're getting three. Now this won't count towards LeBron's goal of winning a championship, but we'll still get the extra upgrade wheel spin if we win. Very unfortunate. They're just going to sweep them here, but you know, would have loved if LeBron actually played. But let's get those four spins. First one up and it's max shot IQ. Can't be taking dumb shots out there. I get it. Next wheel spin is going to go ahead and be max steel. Yeah. All right. Max steel. We're so close to an 80 overall. Here's our third spin. It's going to go ahead and be max pass. Do we already get this or was it something different? All right. We had max passing IQ. Now we get max passing vision. And for our final spin, give us something really good here. We got plus 10 all finishing attributes. That's fine. If he gets sent down to the G League as an 82 overall, I'm taking action. Here we go. I'm going to simulate one day right here. Oh yeah. He got sent down. Yeah. We're not dealing with this. Is this like a glitch? I can't mess with this contract at all. I have a solution, but I'm not going to like it. I got to take one of these bum players and import his player DNA. I didn't want to have to do that, but I guess we move. And we got to play the Warriors here for our first game of the year. And that's going to be a blowout. He put up 14, 2, and 7. So that's going to be 23 upgrade points. I'm going to go speed and excel again. So I'm going to put 11 on speed and 11 on excel. And then the last two to max out his intangibles. Let's see how LeBron does on what feels like his first real season in the NBA. T Mac putting up Luka numbers. Yeah, this team's too OP at this point. And LeBron James finally playing some good basketball, dropping 13, 3, and 6. So that's going to be 90 upgrade points. I'm going to use 31 of those points to max out my speed and excel. I'm going to use 56 of that to just get his offensive consistency all the way up to 99. And then put three points on his rebounding. This team is so stacked that LeBron still doesn't start. Let's see what happens versus the Kings. Going to beat him here in game six. LeBron with nine points. All right, well, we'll take I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're still getting our upgrade wheel. Now we got Sean Marion and the Suns. Got a close one here in game seven. Joe Johnson with the ball here. No way that goes in. Yep, they're still taking that shot no matter what error it is. And they fouled Dwight Howard. So uh, yeah, they're still going to be well in this game. Second free throw. Well, he, he missed both of them. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh my God. Oh my. Okay, he took a deep two pull. What? Five seconds left here to go to the conference championship. Zero with the screen here. Chris Paul with the pull up three. Gets it to go with 1.2 seconds left. Chris Paul with the clutchest shot of his career. Barbosa tries to respond and misses it. At least they'll be making their way to the conference finals. LeBron with 17 and 10. Now we got to play the three-time MVP in KG. And we just smoke KG, but go into a four. Okay. This will count as one of our goals if we win the championship here. And there's nothing better than a game seven in the finals. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Vince Carter driving. Kicks it to Bogan. Bogan goes up for the layup. Gets it to go. We got a two-point game. Chris Paul trying to drive here on Vince Carter. Goes up for the layup. Gets it to go. Just babies Vince Carter. Oh my God. Bosh wide open. And oh God. He clank that. What are the Raptors doing right now? They just wasted like 20 seconds doing nothing. and shut up a contested three. That's gonna do it. And LeBron James is gonna get himself an actual championship. I mean, to be fair, he was the seventh man on a championship team, so I don't really know how legit this really is, but it does count. LeBron with an efficient 18, 3, and 3. And now we got ourselves four wheel spins. Here's our first one. It's gonna be max hands. All right. Our only other goal is to max LeBron out, so I mean, I guess we'll take it. Second wheel spin. We're gonna get plus 15 badge points. That's nice. I 
I think the smart thing is to just give him bronze of everything, so then he just gets them better as we eventually go on. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. All right, third wheel spin. What do we got here? It's gonna be plus ten to all finishing actually. We got that one a lot. All our finishing stuff's almost maxed out. And our final spin here of the season, we got wow, ten more badge points. And again, I think it makes sense to do this. So we're just gonna do one of every for badge playmaking. Wow, we went up twenty one overalls that year with LeBron, and I moved Travis Outlaw to power four so LeBron can finally start on a team where he's the second best player. Let's see how we do versus the Kings in our first regular season game. Well, we smoked him. That was bad. And LeBron only took five shots, but he had 13, 9, and 5. That adds up to 27 upgrade points. If you were curious, his tendencies are all just LeBron's tendencies, so I didn't touch any of this. But let's get that free upgrade wheel spin, and we're going to get plus 10 to all playmaking. That's nice. Well, he didn't go up at all, but we got some of the stuff up. Let's go ahead and sim the season. And his own teammate get an MVP. Portland won themselves a lot of games again, and LeBron had a great year dropping 21, 6, and 8. So that's going to be 103 upgrade points. So we're going to max out pass accuracy to start off. I'm going to max out my speed with ball. I'm going to max out the ball handling too. We'll get the layup to 99. Let's get that dunk to 99. I should have 31 points left. Let's put most of that into the rebounding. And then my last four points into the perimeter defense. Let's see how we do in round one versus the Kings. Yeah, we have a pretty cheesy 2K team. We shouldn't lose. This Clipper team has not changed at all. And all we've done is just getting way better. Now we have the Suns yet again. And it used to be a seven game thriller. Now it's a sweep. And here we are back in the finals versus the Raptors. And they're keeping it competitive. We're up 3-2. Chris Paul trying to drive to the basket here. Floater. Got it. Okay, one point game. They're going to shoot some free throws here. First one up and it's good. Second free throw. Making a three. He missed it. He definitely missed that. Great foul. LeBron on the post. Going to work here with a mismatch. Got to go to work with the hook. Gets it to go. We worked on that, baby. Four seconds left here to force the game seven. Vince Carter going to shoot a contested three. And he missed it. Now it's a two-point game with a minute to go. Eric Gordon going to use the screen. Gonna... Okay, that's not the shot we want. But I guess Eric Gordon just got ice in his veins. Well, at least this championship is more legitimate than the last one. LeBron had a triple-double in this game. My God. And I guess here's four more spins. Uh, first spin, max help defense. It went from a 62 to a 99. Next up on the wheel is going to go ahead and be max lateral quickness. We need this. That might have been our lowest rating. It was a 32. Next spins up. We're going to go ahead and get max oh, max post fade. Okay. Wow, that was at a 53. We're really getting that one up. And for our final wheel spin of the season, we got plus 10 to all shooting. I mean, all that really helps is the free throw. We already have everything else up. And LeBron's now officially a 99 overall, but we're not there yet. We want to get to a point where all of this is 99, and he has every badge in the game to really give him that 100 overall feel. And our first game of the year is versus Houston. And we got ourselves some content here. Well, LeBron, it's time to be clutch here. Driving to the basket. Okay, all right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. I think we're in 2011. And that was very 2011 finals of you to make that pass. And LeBron had an awful game. 7, 4, and 9. That's only 20 points. I guess I'll work on the defense. Let's hope he averages more than that this season. Chris Paul has been going crazy in the sim. And LeBron James finally made an all-NBA team. They also won 70 games. At least that's easier math for me. And LeBron dropped 20. 22, 9, and 9. My God. Well, that's actually very easy math. 40 plus 70. All right, we got 110 upgrade points. Let's go ahead and max out the defense first. I'll spend 32 points on perimeter defense. And then we'll just blow the rest here on interior defense. And then I think I have like eight points left. It's eight or seven. So I'm just going to put it on vertical. I guess let's cakewalk to another championship. Yeah, that first round's going to be a sweep. We're not going to face one team that's even closer. It's like not only is LeBron just amazing, now we're just stacked. That's going to go ahead and be another sweep. I mean, the Spurs have Tim Duncan and Tony Parker. This might be competitive. Well, they were competitive, but we got them gone in six. And now a new finals opponent, which might be worse than the last one, but they got Gilbert Arenas, who's very good in the sim. Well, not good enough, because that's going to be a gentleman sweep. And LeBron won finals MVP, dropping 29, 10, and 10. Let's go ahead and get those spins. First one up, we got Matt. Oh, we needed that really badly. That was one of our few ratings that are just dead in the water, down to like 30 or 40. Now, if I land on anything that's already a 9 and 9, we'll probably just skip it. We got plus 15 badge points. I think I'm just going to up all these badges up a tier. That seems the smart thing to do. Here's our third wheel spin, hopefully not a duplicate. We got max close shot. That actually isn't maxed out, so we'll take it. And our final wheel spin for the season is going to be plus 10 to all physicals. Okay. Our vertical and strength are very low, so this is good for us. I think the entire league's contracts are glitched because Chris Paul's still on his rookie deal, I think. Since I'm so close to getting 100 overall, all of our upgrade points will be doubled. And they're going to blow out the Rockets here. Why does LeBron keep... I mean, this isn't bad. He had 14 assists, but why is he underwhelming in the sim game? But that's going to be 64 upgrade points. I guess we'll just max out the free throw, and then I'll get that block up to 73. And what do we got for our wheel spin? It's going to go ahead and be plus 50 upgrade points. Nice. So we'll just go ahead and max out the block and then i'm gonna put 12 on my vertical and then i'll do 12 on strength we are so close to having lebron fully maxed out and lebron capping off with an mvp dropping 24 9 and 9 and the team won 72 games so let me do some math there so all together that's 114 then times two so that's gonna be 228 upgrade points well let's max out the post hook let's get that post control up to a 99 gotta rebound the basketball we gotta be strong gotta have a high vertical intangibles up one draw foul up two and look at that every single attribute here is now a 99 and I have 70 points to spare. So I'm going to use
use those points on badge upgrades. And after using all 70 badge points, I now have every single badge in the game, but some of the defensive badges. We gotta get those. I'm just gonna simulate the playoffs. There's no point in even watching this. Like, we just cruise control to a championship. We lost one playoff game, I think. Yeah, we lost one. And I'm gonna convert those wheel spins to getting the rest of my upgrades because that makes sense. So we now officially have 100 overall LeBron James. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Goodbye.